Today we are going to work on text features, and text features are on page 5 in the 5th grade reading notes packet. So on page 5 in that reading skills note packet, we're going to start at the top of the page here and just talk about what do we need to do as 5th graders for text features. So for text features as 5th graders, you need to be able to interpret the text features meaning the headings, graphs, charts, timelines, diagrams, photographs, captions for photographs. You need to be able to look at them and understand what they have in them, and then make connections between the information in the text and the text features. So that would be if there's information in the paragraphs, how does that relate to whatever graphic they also put on the page? So our vocab to know, source, a book or document that's used to provide evidence in research interpret, explain the meaning of information. So interpreting the text features means we need to be able to explain the information that's in those text features. And a digital source is an electronic form of text or information. So this video itself is a digital source because we're accessing it here online. So what we have to look at to take our notes, we have a very short piece of text and a graphic feature. Let's look at this text. Landforms in the Northeast. The Northeast United States includes Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. This region includes many landforms like hills, valleys, and mountains with numerous streams, lakes, and rivers. The Appalachian Mountains start in Maine and continue past the southern border of Pennsylvania. The Appalachian Mountains, the older, the older of the two large mountain ranges in the United States, the Appalachians, have been worn down by erosions from water and wind. The mountains are mainly covered by forest. And that's what we have close to us. Like if we look out our window, we might be able to see the Appalachian Mountains. Some of you might even live up over that first ridge because it really is it's right there at the edge of Harrisburg. Coastal Plain. The Atlantic Coastal Plain slopes gently upward from the ocean inland until the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains start. Pine barrens cover the plains, the plain in New Jersey. Most of the large cities are in the Atlantic Coastal Plain, including Philadelphia, New York City, and Boston. Rivers and Lakes. Major rivers in the Northeast are the, Hus the Hudson, Susquehanna, Delaware, Connecticut, and Ohio. Lake Ontario and Lake Erie are the two largest lakes. So that's our text. And our text did include some text features because we do have the title of the article and then we have headings for some of these different paragraphs. So looking down here at this graphic feature, so the, it says down at the bottom, the Appalachian Trail goes the length of the mountain range. Hikers can hike for a day or the whole distance over a number of months. And the graph is from, and so right here, right there is a digital, a digital source. It tells you the website that this information came from. It, there's a title in our graphic here, Elevations and Regions. The trail has five geographic regions, glacier, scarred mountains in the north, lowland valleys that divide the two great ridges of the Appalachians in the middle, and the mountains of the south dominated by the Smoky Mountains. So if you look here, we have the southern mountains, and this chart, it shows you how high, and then there's different points that tell you what certain mountains, how high they are. So it says, thousands of feet above sea level. So this measures how tall above the sea. So we can see these high ones down in the south and then in the Virginia highlands, it definitely there's peaks and valleys, but it's lower than the southern. The mid-Atlantic lowlands are kind of very low. And so this is where we are. We have some of, in Pennsylvania here in Harrisburg, we have some of the smaller mountain ridges. And then it gets higher again in southern New England. And then in northern New England, you can see where some of the tallest peaks are. So we're just going to mark a few things here. So here's the notes part. Here's where you need to take your pencil and you're going to write down these notes in your printed out book that you have. This right here is an example of a digital source. So that's where that chart came from. So the interpreting is being able to look at this and say, okay, the elevations and regions, this is still about the Appalachian Mountains. So the Appalachian Mountains were mostly covered right here. So it's a landform in the northeast is the Appalachian Mountains. And this chart gives me more information about it. So right there, 
that is a connection from the main text to the graphic feature. Now, how do I show an understanding of uh, this connection? I would then put it into a summary to explain in words how those two things go together. And it's that the Appalachian Mountains are one of the major landforms, so that goes up to the title of the article, one of the major landforms in the Northeast along with the coastal plains, rivers, and lakes. So the other two things that were listed in the main text, coastal plains, rivers, and lakes, were still important to the article, even if there wasn't a graphic feature. So the summary talks about all of the things that are on the page. And that's what we need to do with text and graphic features, is pull together the words on the page and all of the graphic features on the page and put it together so that we can understand something better.